and Avogadro number. Okay. We did it yesterday, this man. Constantly watching us. You know its name, uh, his name. Avogadro, Amedeo Avogadro, Italian scientist. What is the definition of Avogadro number? The number of particles in one mole of any substance is fixed and it is called Avogadro number. Okay. And what is the symbol of Avogadro number? Capital N, small a as a subscript. What is its value? Any one of you remembers? Right, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles. Atomic mass of carbon. You know its chemistry class? Grade nine. And you see your lecture number? C. What is the atomic mass of carbon? Gram atomic mass of carbon? 12 gram. You call it one mole. One mole of carbon. Gram molecular mass. of water H2O how much you know it H2O what is that atomic mass of hydrogen one how many hydrogens two six oxygen 16 into one two plus 16 18 gram so what is the molar mass of water 18 gram so we write here 18 gram. It is also called one mole because we have studied that one mole of any substance means it's atomic or molecular mass. If I say atomic mass of magnesium, it's an element. Atom mass is 24 gram. It is this atomic mass, we call it one mole. All right, or we say gram molecular mass of sugar. What is the formula of sugar? C12, H2O11, we found its mass yesterday also. It is 342 grams. Re repeating that if you are attending the class for the first time, you won't be able to understand it. Science, chemistry uh, grows vertically. Whatever you know, know today, the, tomorrow's topic will be ba based on yesterday's topic. So this is called one mole of sugar. Okay, and formula mass of salt, common salt, 58.5 gram, we call it one mole of NaCl. So what have we done here? We have taken atoms, molecules, ionic compounds, like these two are the atoms, carbon and magnesium, water and sugar, these are the compounds. This one is the ionic compound, that is why we didn't write uh, molecular mass, but we wrote here formula mass, atomic mass expressing gram one mole, molecular mass expressing gram is called one mole, 
So what was the definition of one mole? Atomic mass, molecular mass, formula mass, expressing gram is called one mole. Okay. So if I say one mole of carbon, 12 gram. If I say two moles of carbon, you will double it, 24 gram. If I say three moles of carbon, 36 gram and so on. One mole of water, 18 gram. Two moles of water, 36 gram and so on. Okay? Right? Last topic what we did related to it. So 12 gram of carbon and 18 gram of water. So here we have, I have 18 gram of water. This is 18 gram of water. All right, this is salt, one mole of salt, 58.5 gram salt, common salt. This is sugar, how much? One mole of sugar, 342 grams. Magnesium, magnesium wire, how much? One mole of magnesium, 24 gram. Carbon, 12 gram, one mole of carbon. So what I did here, I have taken one mole of different substances. One mole of sugar, one mole of water, one mole of carbon, one mole of magnesium, one mole of common salt. So here we focus that first thing, the value of one mole is not fixed. One mole of carbon means 12 gram, one mole of water means 18 gram, one mole of sugar means this one. What is point? What is the point here? If we start counting, this is one mole of water means 18 gram of water. If we start counting how many water molecules are present in it, then in all of these, 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 particles means 18 gram of water contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 water molecules. 342 grams of sugar contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 sugar molecules. 12 gram of carbon contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 carbon atoms, atoms. Sodium chloride, 24 gram, one mole. It contains how many atoms of magnesium? 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So what was that definition of Avogadro number? What was the definition? See. Here is the definition you can see. The number of particles in one mole of any substance is fixed and is known as Avogadro number. All right? Its value is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. It means, it means one mole of any substance contains a fixed value called Avogadro value. And it is quite obvious that instead of having one mole, if we ha have two moles, obviously the value will, would be doubled. If we have three moles, the value would be multiplied by three. It will become thrice and so on. Okay. <clears throat> so what is the Avogadro number here? 6.02 into 10 to the power. 23.